Hi, I'm Dennis DiCicco, Senior Editor of Sky and Telescope Magazine, here in Suffern, New York for the 2012 Northeast Astronomy Forum, better known as NEAT. Right now I'm speaking with Hua Zhong, CEO of IOPTRON. Readers of Sky and Telescope are certainly familiar with IOPTRON's name. About five years ago they introduced a very clever, innovative little tracking device called the Cube, which offered a portable mount with go-to pointing and computerized tracking for any telescope they wanted to put on it. Since then, they've introduced a whole lot of more products, but I've discovered in talking to Wa that the company has a much longer history. You want to tell me a little bit about it? Oh uh, yeah, actually, that's the part of the problem that not many people know about. Okay, uh, Ioptron actually has a history more than 20 years. 20? Yeah, we not we did a lot of you no know, government you no know, project. We built a lot of you know, control system for. No, and professional and uh, not professional and telescopes the exactly yeah and then uh, all those you know, observatories and okay. we did you know quite a few you know in different countries all right so you've made big telescopes when did you get into the amateur market with equipment yeah actually we started you know, the cube as you mentioned yeah, yeah. that's the part you no know, we talk about we thought about you no know, that's you no know, the time to enter to put in the consumer market Know, to professional and to you know, uh, family people. Okay, so you want to show me some of the things you've introduced along oh, the line? Yes. <laughs> so what have we got here? Yeah, actually okay, this is the Cube Pro. That's the upgraded you know, version from the original Cube. It's upgraded with what new features? Yeah, the same structure, but this one has metal gears. Metal. Yeah. The original also, had nylon gears. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this has got a, a more substantial drive. Yeah. It's more you know, stable. More and stable. More, a yeah. little bit more you know, and payload. More payload. Mm -hmm. It's got also the GPS. Yeah, GPS. GPS capability. And of course, it's got go-to pointing and a standard Vixen-style dovetail that's very common today. So people, any telescope that they have with a little Vixen dovetail, they can put it on here. And this will ho hold how much weight? Yeah. This is about 11 pounds. 11 pounds. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. All right, so this is the Mini Tower 2. What do you tell me the main features about this? Yeah, this is an upgraded version from the original Mini Tower. It has a you know, retractable con counterweight shaft. Okay. Yeah. Slide it right in. Yeah. And also, you know, this one has a better encoder, six times better than the original Mini Tower. More resolution, exactly. so better pointing and better tracking yeah, accuracy. Yeah. Especially you know, near the zenith. Near the zenith, okay. Exactly, yeah. So you can go through the zenith. So this one's self-contained, puts the batteries inside it. It's a complete system with a tripod and everything, and the same dovetail, so you can put your own telescope. What's the load on this one? Yeah, this is you no know, 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Yeah. So you can put, you could actually put telescopes on both sides as well. Exactly. The All second right. one as in the counterweight. As the counterweight. Yeah. So you can have two telescopes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right. Moving along. What are we looking at here? Yeah. This is the Militar Pro. Uh, almost the same as the Militar 2. Uh, this one has more capacity. Two inch tripod. All and right. also this one has North Mandy as standard. Oh, it's a Los Mandy dovetail, yeah, so it's the larger North dovetail. Man, yeah, okay. both Los Mos Mandy and Vixen. All right. You actually made a good point that all of these come as complete packages with the tripod and all. And I should ask, the, the, mini, the Cube Pro, how expensive is that? $399. $399. The Mini Tower 2? $999. $999. And the Pro? $1299. $1299. And the load capacity on this is greater still? 33. 33 pounds. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you got a complete run, three different sizes, three different prices, weight capacities, altazimuth, computer pointing, and tracking mounts. Now, one of the things, a lot of these are beginning are for introductory astronomers. If people have questions and stuff like that, how's the company with customer service? That's a good question. You know, we very you know, emphasize on customer service. As a you know, new company, relatively new, yep. we put a lot of effort on customer service. Okay. We have a you know, big team to answer customer you know, email almost you know, instantly. Anytime uh, during the you know, holiday and the vacation, we 
answer customer questions. So this goes beyond just if people have a question like service, if something doesn't work. This is if they need some help getting something to actually function, help with maybe the keypad if they've got some questions about it. Yes, exactly. Very good. Yeah. We also, you know, we turn around the customer and the repairing almost within one day or two. Really? So if yeah. somebody has to return something to get it fixed, it's a quick turnaround? Yeah, very quick. Oh, yeah. that's excellent. I'm yeah. glad you're proud of that. <laughs> All right, you've got other things you want to show me. Oh, yes. You know, we have, no... by the way, Dennis, uh, you know, Alptron has a very strong you know, competence on design, customer service, and manufacture. I don't know whether you know, people know, 90% of our products came from our own factory. You build them yourself. Exactly. You design them and build them yourself. Yes. We have a very strong team of you know, design, engineering, and manufacturing. I know. In fact, readers of our magazine will know because we've reviewed some of these products and we've found them to be extremely good. In fact, I'm looking at one over here that we reviewed last year, which was the EQ45 mount, the larger mount, and the 6-inch Ioptron Mac scope. Want to take a little look at that for our viewers? Yes. That's going to be so here we've got the IQ45 and the 6-inch Mac that got a very favorable review in our magazine about a year ago. Yeah, actually, Dennis, I want to introduce you our chief engineer, Ning Xu. Yeah. Very actually, pleased to meet you. Yeah. Actually, yes. he is the person who needs a big design team, design all of our products, new products. Okay. Yeah. Very, okay. <laughs> very impressive for the stability and the ability to carry a heavy load for a reasonably lightweight mount. That was one of the big features that we covered in the review in the magazine. Nice job. Very pleased to meet you. So I see there's a few things that look a little different here from what I reviewed, particularly right here. You want to tell me what this is? Yeah, this is a power weight. It does you know, two functions. It's a weight it's your and counterweight. The delivery power to the mount. Okay, when you say power, so you've got batteries in here. Yes, rechargeable. Are rechargeable? Yes. So how long will it run the mount for? Yeah, this is a semi ampere hour battery. It should last about you know, 24 hours. So 24 hours of continuous running. So for an average user, that's uh, four, five, six nights, and even for a heavy user, that's two or three nights of use yes. before it needs to be recharged. Yes. Very good. And here's the power cord plugged yes. in. So no extra batteries and? No. No. So here, the weight, the weight of the batteries is actually serving a dual purpose. Exactly. So you don't have to lug around 10 pounds of steel and 5 pounds of batteries. That's history. Very good. <laughs> That's a very clever and innovative device. Thank you. Now, any other changes that have happened since I did the review? Yes. Actually, I would, I know, I would like to know, ask my colleague, Coleman, to explain that. Hi, Dennis. Hey, Coleman. How are you doing? Good. Thanks. Very good. All right. Got some changes that have happened. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the great thing is that, you know, you know, we are a new company, but we really try to listen to customers. And, and this is a great example because when we first came out with this product, it actually had an electronic balance. I mean, that was the intentional design. But a lot of customers that as soon as they got it, they actually preferred the manual you know, balance for it. This is so you could, you know, swing the telescope around right. make sure everything was balanced. Yeah. The original and, was driving the motors and, back and, and forth. And we were actually coming out with something new and, and innovative, but a lot of customers, they actually preferred the manual design, and so we, we decided to retool it quickly and come out with a modification, and so we have this manual uh, a balance with it, and so uh, customers actually prefer that. All right, so it's nice that you responded quickly with what they wanted. So it means you can just loosen the clutches and swing the telescope until it feels like it's nicely exactly. balanced. Exactly, and customers actually prefer that, so that, that's a good thing. Okay, all right, so you've got some new products you want to show me. Yeah, we sure do. So we came out with the 45, and then just now, this year we came out with the IQ30. And it's basically the little brother, so it has all the same functions and, and features. It's just a little bit smaller size, a little bit smaller payload. Right. Uh, and it's easier to carry. So the IEQ 45 was 45 pounds of capacity. I'm guessing that the 30 is going to be 30 pounds right. of capacity. Yeah. All yeah. right, and these are German equatorial mounts yes. with go-to pointing and yes. all computerized and uh, standard Vixen type dovetail. Yes. And the package includes the whole thing, the counterweights, the tripod, all the electronics and everything. Yes. So what's the price on this one? So this retails for $12.99. And the 45 was? 12, the 45 is 16.99. 16.99, all right, same package. 
So that's nice. Any other features here you want to show me? Uh, well, it, it has the GPS, like I mentioned, and of course it has uh, computer you know, capability for sure. folks that like to, to run planetarium software. And oh, like so that. it can be can controlled by a separate program? Right, exactly. Standard? Yep. And has it got a polar alignment scope? It has polar alignment, and that's the one thing that a lot of people like about you know, the IEQ series that we have is that they, they tell us that the polar alignment is a lot easier to, to, to set up than other products out there. So that's another nice feature about this product. I, actually, you remind me when we did the review of the 45 that was one of the things that was very impressive. It had a novel polar alignment scope, it was very accurate, and the little hand display showed you how to align it up. Right. So you just turn it on, get your position, look at the display, match it in there, and you're polar aligned and ready to go. Yeah, and that's what people like about it. It's just easy to set up and they can start looking at the sky. All right, very good. Now I know you've got a secret here because I've been looking behind me and I see that there's something that's covered with a black cloth. You want to tell me about that? Yeah, sure. Let's step over this way here. All right. Let's see what you got. So at, here at NEF 2012, we're excited to introduce the new and latest product from iOptron. It's called the Smart EQ. So what's great about this, I mean, it's a totally different design from our other products, but what it is, it's, it's a portable, grab-and-go equatorial mount that has great performance at a great price. It retails for $399. $399. Exactly. So, and you're looking at the tripod, the whole mount, obviously not the telescope. Right. But it's a standard dovetail mounting. Yes. And that's got computerized go-to. Right. And tracking. It's an equatorial. Yes. It's a German equatorial. Looks like it's self-contained. Look like the battery. You got a battery compartment. Yeah, the here. whole thing here is is self-contained with the battery. The head, the mount weighs six pounds, and it has a payload of eleven pounds. So it's just something that's easy for people that want something that's perform, you know, has good performance, and they can take it with them on a trip, and it's just easy to set up, and they can have a German equatorial right where they are. So the whole equatorial head up here, without the counterweight, is only six pounds. That's right. It really, I mean, th this thing is just, ultra, even with the telescope on it, it's ultra lightweight, grab yeah. and go. No, and that's it, what's amazing about it, yeah. And it's it's all set up, obviously you could do photography with it. Mm -hmm. So looks like there's a provision, you can put an optional polar alignment scope. Yes, that's right, we have that option also. All right, but what a great compact little mount. I mean, a, a German equatorial go-to, ready to go, self-contained batteries and everything, and a really attractive price. Yeah, that's, Yeah. no, I mean, I think that's the great thing about our products. We really try to come out with products that are portable, they have great performance, and they have a good price. All right, here's the $64 question for you at the show. When you introduce something brand new, is it available? You know, the great thing about this is that we are introducing this today at NEF 2012, and it'll be available in the next month. Within the month? Yes. So people aren't going to have to wait six to eight months that's to see right. a new product. It's, yeah, it's ready to go. That's right. All right, that's great. And I've got one more thing to show you. This is the Solar 60 with all the solar activity starting this year, uh, sunspots and, of course, the transit of Venus in June. Uh, this is just a, a great portable mount and telescope. It has a 60 millimeter refractor. It has a detachable glass solar filter. It also comes with an electronic eyepiece, and it's perfect for classrooms where teachers can just set it up in their classroom, have it point out the window, and students can all look at the, the, the laptop, and actually every day they can you know, map and see the tracking of the sunspots. Sunspots. So the, the electronic eyepiece is just a little, it's like a little camera that goes in. Exactly. Connects to a computer. Right. I mean, you can either uh, look with the traditional eyepiece sure. or the electronic eyepiece, but it's great in the classroom with the, to have it on the, a large on the, screen. On the screen. And this has got the go-to pointing and the tracking. So it's a complete little system, ideal for the sun and, as you say, for classrooms. That's exactly. pretty cool. Yeah. We're excited about this. With all the solar activity, as you said, and, of course, the transit of Venus later this year, and it's ready to go, and the price on it was? $3.99 for the whole thing. Whole thing, and they're ready to go now. Ready to go. Excellent. Listen, I want to thank you for telling me about all these new products. I appreciate it very much. I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at the 2012 NEEF Conference in Suffern, New York.